Hi everyone, this is Ted Bauman of The Bauman Letter here at Banyan Hill Publishing. Investing outside the United States is uh, increasingly popular as it should be, but one of the most underappreciated reasons for doing that is fluctuations in exchange rates. You see, when you buy anything outside the United States that's uh, priced in a foreign currency, you have the potential to take advantage of changes in the exchange rates between the US dollar and that foreign currency. That's particularly true of companies. For example, if you buy a company that's denominated in euros and the euro is really cheap right now, you'll get a lot more company for your dollar than you would be if the euro was strong. But what happens if the euro then uh, becomes strong in the future? Well, that means that the value of your investment in that company in dollar terms will have increased, not just because the company is doing better, but because the currency has increased. So a fundamental approach to investing outside the United States is to take advantage of the dollar when it's strong and to take advantage of the dollar when it's weak. One opportunity to do this, I think, is arising as a result of the current turmoil in Britain around so-called Brexit, which is basically the United Kingdom leaving the European Union. Now, whatever you think about Brexit as, a, as an idea, the reality is that it's putting pressure on the British pound. The British pound hasn't dived yet because currency traders are waiting to see what happens. Nobody really knows. Is the, are they going to go? Are they not going to go? Is it going to be with a deal or without a deal? But once it's clear what's going to happen, uh, I predict that the pound is probably going to take a serious beating. There's almost no question in my mind that the most likely outcome in the short term uh, is for the UK to leave the European Union without a deal. Even if that is subsequently reversed, it's going to hammer the pound. Now, British companies are going to become extremely cheap if the pound uh, goes down relative to the dollar. You'll be able to buy a lot of British company with your US dollars because the pound has gone down. But the reality is that British companies are not going to be as bad off as a result of Brexit as many people think. That's because many British companies, especially the biggest ones, get a lot of their earnings from outside the UK itself. So their earnings would be denominated in the euro or even the dollar. If that happens, those companies will continue to do well, and their share prices should continue to remain at, at relatively good levels. But the critical question is what happens going down the road? Let's say you buy a big British company like Unilever or somebody like that when the pound is at rock bottom. You can buy a lot of shares of Unilever with your dollar when the pound is down. But eventually, the pound is going to recover, and that means that the price of your Unilever shares and your dividends in a company like Unilever are going to increase in value in dollar terms, not just because the company is doing better, but because the pound is strengthening against the dollar. Now, I foresee this pattern unfolding over the year or so after Brexit. That presents an opportunity. You can go in and buy British equities at a discount as a result of uncertainty around Brexit. And in fact, British equities are at all time lows right now. And wait until the uh, inevitable recovery occurs British equities begin to recover on their own account, but more importantly, the pound begins to recover. That presents the opportunity to turbocharge your profits in US dollar terms. Now, there are many different ways that a person can buy a foreign company. You can open up a brokerage, for example, in Britain, and uh, use that to buy uh, companies in, in, uh, in Britain. But that's really complicated. A more sensible and much easier way to do it is to use the exchange traded fund mechanism. And there's one exchange traded fund in particular, and that is the iShares MSCI United Kingdom ETF, otherwise known as EWU. That tracks a basket of market weighted companies that represent about 85% of the FTSE, which is the British Stock Exchange, by market weight. Now, right now, this ETF is trading uh, right around $30 a share. But I predict it could actually fall to half that uh, in the aftermath of a no-deal Brexit. If it does, and you buy it then, and you're willing to hang on to it for a while, you could see a dramatic increase in the value of that investment. The majority of that increase will be due to changes in the exchange rate. Remember, uh, exchange rates turbocharge your investment by changing the amount of dollars that you get as a result of holding an investment in a foreign currency. So with the current uproar going on around Brexit and with uh, pressure on the pound, it'll be a good time to look at buying into uh, Britain using the, uh, an ETF like EWU and then hanging on to see what happens. And I think over time you're going to find that that's going to be 
really a very successful investment, not necessarily because British companies are going to do well, but because the pound will eventually recover. So this is Ted Bauman with an unusual offshore investment strategy, signing right off. Take care.